Boundary Bay is one of the most important areas in Canada for birds and wildlife generally because of its position on the Pacific Flyway. We've got a 20 kilometer wide bay between White Rock and Tawasin. It really is a crucial stopping point for those migratory birds and it became a habitual resting place for them on their long journeys from the north of Canada and Alaska down south to Mexico and Central America and South America. One of the, my favourite things to do is to watch the shorebirds on Boundary Bay because you get thousands of these birds in flocks and they behave in a very extraordinary way. If they are feeding and a peregrine falcon comes along and disturbs them, then the, the sandpipers will just rise into the air and then do a sort of a dance where they're just swirling around. It moves almost like one organic creature and yet it's a flock all turning in unison just so that they can find falcons. And Boundary Bay actually had the most snowy owls in a concentration of virtually anywhere in North America last year. At one point we had 40 snowy owls along a very small stretch of dike in Boundary Bay. If we go back in time, then there was a huge ice age that covered this whole area. It was under two kilometers of ice at one point, and then it gradually melted away. The whole area below the ice was sort of freshly born. Life moved into the area, the salmon moved into the area, the birds landed on, on the mud flats and the marshes that grew up there and the trees moved in. And so the whole landscape became born within the last 20,000 to 10,000 years. And that's quite different from areas like the tropics, which were not touched by early sages and which have been around for absolute millennia. We need to keep the bay in good health and for that we need the surrounding land to be in good health. We cannot afford to pave it all over. Where would we be without pollinators? Many birds are insect eaters. The insects are connected with the flowers. You know, it's all wrapped up in one big cycle of life and you start pulling away at foundational blocks, you're going to be in terrible trouble. I think it's something we've really got to think about, how we can be truly stewards of our planet as well as just thinking that we can just go on and take whatever we need as a race. I think we've got to consider the other species around us because we need them. <laughs>